Okay, my honey. So, so today, I know it's been a while, my honeys, and this video is so old, but I did tell you guys we were going to cut ends because my hair, you know, was doing so absolutely bad from that eczema I had in there. And as you can see, I got some long spots, some short spots, it's appearing thin. So I really just wanted to cut it off, my honeys, all one length no layers but of course it was plenty of them just because i wanted everything even so the top of my hair is the shortest but we're just gonna go through today and cut ends it's not much of a tutorial it's more so just i said i was gonna do it and this is what we doing and i'm keeping you guys on track from where we left off so don't think for a second that I'm not recording or don't have anything going on. I'm just not able to edit and actually do all that. It's probably time to hire somebody to do that for me because it's just getting so out of hand with it. Like, I, it's looking like I'm gone too long and this is not what I'm going for. But as you can see, them ends could be considered split or them ends could just be shredded or maybe the whole head is shredded. We could just throw the whole head away. So we getting rid of a lot of that. Y'all know how I am, I grow hair. So I ain't really worried about cutting my hair off and it not growing back. It's gonna grow back and hopefully it grows back 10 times stronger. That's what I'm going for because that eczema did a whole number. Like all those little thick edges there is probably where it came out at. And those were completely bald. But it grew back and that's what I was left with. So now I just want to cut it all even since I do have it back and make sure that it grows out properly. Like, you see that? That's terrible. So I was going too long with that. The longer you wait, my honeys, to cut them ends, if they are split, the more they will just continue to split up all the way to your scalp, your follicle area, and then it will just completely break off that strand. So imagine having... A bunch of strands in one area of your head just just so split that area could potentially be bald so we just want to get these ends clipped at least every four to six weeks okay on some cases eight weeks is okay you know if you do perm your hair you definitely want to do it every four to six weeks so I don't perm my hair I haven't had a perm in years eight eight plus years and I just don't. I'm, I'm out of that little stage. Especially with whatever's going on with my hair. Because this eczema stuff is new to me. So I'm just still getting adjusted. It started last year, right? Now here we are uh, this year. And it is right now. What is this? December? It's starting again. This is the flare-up moment, I suppose. And guess what? It's starting again to have patches in there. These dry patches or white and crusty i can grease it oil it and throw some crisco on it and guess what it's still crusty the next day so i notice now like okay this is a problem that i need to take care of every year okay or figure out a way to just get it going so during the moment you know where those crusty patches is there if i don't take care of them and handle them the worse that they may get my honeys by the time I do use the medicated shampoo that's prescribed and all of that, it takes the whole patch out. Straight ball, and it's like, oh my God. So I'm right now trying to catch it and make sure I don't get any more patches because it's like this video would have really been pointless because I'm cutting off the old patches that has grew back throughout the year. And now here it is around the same time it happened. It's happening again. So every year I'll be cutting hair. So I'm not going to do that. So if I can't get it under control, my honey, we will be cutting this hair off because I'm not saving something that don't want to be saved. I have never bleached my hair, dyed my hair, anything like that, okay? Once I did a semi-permanent dye, it fell out from that too. But since then, I was like, yeah, I'm not even doing any of this with my hair. I want it to be stress-free. That's why I stopped perms and everything. So now at this point, I will just have fun with my hair, okay? I will cut it in them shortcuts, perm it, wave it, color it. I'll just have fun with it if it's just going to get short and bald head every year, <laughs> you know? So I'm trying my hardest right here, my honeys, to clip my own ends. It's not easy. I'm trying to get a blunt cut and everything, and it's not easy. But I made it work, 
and as you guys can see I am in a salon so this is where I do most of my magic now or whatever and next door we have a barber shop so I went next door and made sure I was even to have him to straighten me up but for the most part he didn't even have to really do much because now that I'm looking at the video I did pretty good as far as that back and trying to get that blunt cut so I don't have a particular style I'm going for I'm just cutting all even. Y'all gonna see I'm about to go in and tear it up through the middle, okay? I'm just going around my perimeter right now, just trying to get everything one length even, get all the bad off. Then I'm gonna go in through that middle section like this and bust it down into pie sections and just cut, 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 cut. Everything will be all even. I'm over-directing, redirecting. I'm just trying to grow my hair back, my honey. Y'all remember when I first started YouTube? That little hair was long and thick and mm, something serious. And look at me now. I just cannot get it right. So I don't know. I got to I gotta come up with a master plan of how I'm going to do this. I did grow it back and I do still need to show you guys and tell you guys what I did to grow it back. But um, it really was the fact that I had got it treated the eczema i got it treated and then it, it saved it and it grew it back so now that i know that this is a reoccurring problem i got to catch it before it even starts please excuse my underarms and my facial expressions but the arms was burning and it was just no way around in my honeys i couldn't be cute i couldn't do none of that in the video because oh my god just nobody was there to help me and all type so anywho if I catch it a month before it starts, it will never start, right? That way, I could probably get my hair back the way it used to be. I just got to get on the routine of the X one and beat it. That's really all that is. But, anywho, my honeys, how have you guys been doing? Okay, I have been doing nothing but hair. And just, you know, slaying and doing all that I'm supposed to be doing out here in these streets pertaining to the sledge. But other than that, as far as recording, I just need to get more, I need to get more organized. That's what it is. I'm not organized. I started working at this salon, my honeys, and it just slammed me, like, just complete slam. Like, I never had an issue getting clients, keeping clients, reoccurring clients, any of that. But um, I do notice that people love the, you know the atmosphere of the salon because I you know I was just doing it at home and now I'm in a salon my people's is coming through and you like <laughs> so it's not a big deal I can definitely my honey start to at least try to drop two videos a week you know I was on my everyday ish before but now at least two you know so I'm just I'm making everything in the plan in the organization to at least have two days for that and editing takes eight hours sometimes 12 with this baby okay <laughs> and it's just it's, it's it's not a lot but it's it's new okay i'm just saying that it's new and i'm getting adjusted so i'm not missing i'm just getting adjusted to everything when i make one video with my camera and then put it onto my laptop I have to edit that video and get it out of there before I can even go on to record another one on the camera to put on the laptop. I can't put two, three videos that I've done that's four hours long each onto my laptop. There's no space and it's not working. So what I came up with from that was to just, okay, every video I make, get it out, drop it, and put another one on the laptop, make a new one like that. So, if I'm not actually sitting there getting one out of there to add another one, it's not working, right? So, I don't have an assistant. I don't have anything going on. It's just me, my honey. So, um, once I get this understood, uh, it's going to be, it ain't going to even be nothing to talk about. Because we're going to be in here, like I say. We out here, right? So, don't worry. And I know a lot of my honeys is waiting. My honey said, take your time, you know. I'm not going to say that it's not easy to be a YouTuber, but it's, it's, it is, but it's not, okay? It is, but it's not. When I had all the time in the world to just sit back and record and edit and do all of that, it was going. Everything was great. 
My son, KJ, started growing up. That became a major thing. He was all into the equipment, losing batteries and this and that. Okay, now I got all that replaced. Now it's like, okay, um, make this video, put it out. But then I start working at the salon, and it's like, oh, my God, I'm crammed with clients. So, of course, I want my coin. So I'm definitely not turning down any clients. But then again, it's like, okay, well, you're a YouTuber. You have to juggle all these things like come on now get it together clean it up so i am in process of cleaning it up my honeys do not worry about that we are coming into a new year i really want to get all these old videos out now before the new year because new year's going to hit and i'm gonna still be doing old videos and in my mind i don't want to see that and don't nobody want to see that <laughs> we want to see the new okay so Look, ambulance round by. Look, right now, I woke up today on one. I said, no, I ain't about to keep procrastinating. I'm sitting in my car, my honey's outside the shop waiting on my client. And I said, I'm going to get this whole little video out. I see that I'm talking through the whole video. And I'm really just catching up with my honey's as I cut myself bald, okay? So, um, either way it go, these, I'm going to try to get these videos. I feel like I got at least three of them. I got to get them out. And I only got a couple days. And I'm trying. So if you do see a little video after the new year that's from the old year, please don't worry about that, my honeys. It's just got to get got. And we're going to be starting fresh. So I have done terrible also this year of keeping up, my honeys, with um the, the holidays. Like, you know, I'm supposed to at least come out here. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? And I have been doing terrible. Guess why? I'm not even getting myself together even though I'm out here slaying everybody else. I be looking a hot mess 90% of the time, like every trip. So <laughs> for me to just come out here the way that I'm looking regular, schmegular, I just don't be in the mood, okay? I'm not even on Instagram as much with it, okay? You will catch me on Instagram before you will catch me on here doing something just quick or whatever because, you know, it's just so much of an easy access. I did start utilizing my little stories up there on YouTube, but it's, to me, it's just a whole mess. I don't want to look terribly ugh, exhausted like that to the world. So I have just been on chill until I get back to myself with this. So it's not only that you guys feel neglected. I'm neglecting myself. <laughs> like, And I don't care. I don't care. I leave this shop. I come home. I clean my house. I do what I got to do for the kids. And I go lay down and catch up on my reruns, okay? I ain't thinking about me. I ain't thinking about nothing right now. So please excuse me for that, my honeys. And only self-care I did was when I did this video. And this video was sure enough in the summertime. Here we are for full-blown winter over here in Cleveland, Ohio. It's, it's, it's December. So this is how long it took me to actually just smack myself in the face when I got up out of that bed and said do something okay just because you can't lay in your bed and do it like you used to you better do it in that car you better take it with you if you got downtime at work you better go ahead and at least do some type of voiceover so that it could be done by the end of the day when you get home just something so I'm working my honeys I am working and you seen me in this video using a couple of different products now since I'm in the shop I have you know invested in my product I use design essentials um and then i use nairobi products so i am getting into all of that as well where if i got clients that's getting colored it's done a third i want products for everybody you got coarse hair i want a product for you you got fine hair i want a product for you so yeah you can't just use every product for everybody because every hair type is different so this product that i'm using is just design design essentials and if you guys want any information pertaining to what i'm using just ask me in the comments and i will definitely bust it down because like i said this video was not much of a tutorial it wasn't much of anything but just showing you guys and staying on track of what i said we were going to do i did say we were clipping in and I feel like things that I say we're going to do, you guys don't want to miss it for the world. So I'm going to keep up my end of the bargain, even though it's taking longer than anticipated, my honeys. But we're going to get through this, okay? We're going to get through this. And I did curl my hair out. I just wanted to see what, what we had going on. 
and that's the Nairobi. Oh, I love that stuff. Now, that is a flat arm spray, which means it's a holding spray. So, when you do them curls and you spray it on there before you curl it, oh, my God, it holds them curls so beautifully. I don't think I did that. I just sprayed it on after, so therefore I can wrap it and see how these curls fall when I unwrap it, okay? But we can do another video like this, especially pertaining to the style, okay? If you want to see this style, which was nothing major to me, I did not like it. It was not for me. My hair, just even though I just clipped it, I got to get it to a point where it's at least thickened out and all that. It's, it's released feeling, so that way... I could get my strands to feel back in and feel thick because right now it's super thin and I'm just like okay let's let's just see all the measures we could take for this <laughs> so um that was my co-worker anywho um I'm trying my little hardest to wrap this little thin head I don't want to stay and do right but we could do another video on an update side of this style and even also, you know, how to get those curls. And some people be scared to curl their hair, wrap it, boom. <laughs> and then curl it down. No curls ain't going nowhere. If you have fresh ends, okay, if you got fresh ends and some nice good curls, the curls ain't going nowhere. You can wrap it every night. This style could last you a week or two. Okay, if you're not a sweater and all of that, it just depends. But for me, if I wrap my hair every night, okay, the curls fall, fall, fall. Then at some point, it's just a complete body wrap. Like, oh, my God, it's gorgeous. But I ain't do nothing. As soon when this video was over, money, it was a wrap. And I braided it up, and I did a sew-in. And guess what? That's our next video. <laughs> okay? So our next video, before the year hit, hopefully... I can get that out. It's going to be a sew in, okay, with leave out. And um, I hope you guys would enjoy that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little voiceover with my talking self. Some of my honeys miss my voice, okay? Some of my honeys want me to shut up. Some of my honeys don't even like when I call you honeys. But guess what? You're my honeys. And I ain't going to change. So you guys update me on what you want to see next update me on what you tired of or want to change for the 2022 okay and i am all for it. i'm open to it let's talk about it okay leave me a comment let me know how you guys are feeling okay let me know what you guys doing for new years let me know everything because you know i truly miss my honeys and i am coming back and i don't want y'all to let that bother you okay because I'm doing everything by myself. I have no help. I'm speaking on KJ. I'm speaking on everything. Nobody helps me do anything, okay? KJ has a whole father, and he's not consistent. So it's just me, 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 me. KJ birthday is February 7th, guys. I should have let you guys answer that. But um, he will be three years old. We're going to head start. So we're going to skip the whole daycare, but we're going to head start my honeys. And I will be making videos on the family and everything just so you guys can see and I can update you on that. We didn't do anything for Christmas. I bought KJ a TV and a few items for the house. And guess what, my honeys? That was it. But I'll make a video on putting that TV up and all of that. Y'all see I mix, missed my outro. <laughs> so at this point of the video, I will see my honeys on the next one. <laughs> I messed it up, my honeys. Bye, guys. Love you guys. Mwah.